Um, I've caught Toby Doncaster in the car park. Um, he's on his bike. Um, this one of those teachers has got some really great ideas. He's doing some smashing stuff with what, all the Google stuff we've got and mobile technology, new teaching methods, flip learning. Oh, I could go on and on. But he was telling me earlier about how he's been using mobile phones with his class, uh, even today, I think. So, rather than still his thunder, here's Toby. And look, he's on his bike. Look at that. Hi, everybody. Um, I teach motor vehicles functional skills over in Acton and Southall. A couple of things that I've noticed is that uh, we get IT suites and uh, every time I mention a topic that we have to talk about, particularly with motor vehicles, the students straight away ask me, you know, can we use our phones to research on this? And I say, yeah, sure. They don't even like looking at the IT suite. Uh, they find the IT computers a bit slow. By the time they've got their ideas out and they're ready to work, you know, they've already wasted 10, 15 minutes. Whereas they can look at the computer on their mobile phones, get the ideas straight away, and they can start talking about it. We use lots of paper still. Uh, we use um, flip charts, we've got flip pens out, so they can jot the ideas down and discuss them and elaborate on them. Meanwhile, I'm running around the IT suite, switching all the computers on, getting them up and running, getting their desktops up, and straight away I say, okay, what I'd like you to do now, open up your GDoc account, you know how to do that, start a document. Now, all their documents are saved in an English folder, which is shared, and they can obviously decide who they're going to share that with. It can be with me, or it can be with their colleagues. So, as they're typing, somebody else can be looking at the same document, they can be inputting into it. I can also be looking at it from another point of view and start making comments such as, you know, what's your spelling there? Think about capitalization. Remember how we capitalize I? Remember your full stops? Got any other punctuations that you can put in there? The first time I did this, the students, it blew their minds. You know, they couldn't get over the fact that I'm sitting over in my little corner, minding my own business, and actually looking at their work and making comments as they went along. Things progressed very quickly. And nowadays, rather than having to chase students for their work, they're already asking me, have you looked at my work? What have you got to say about my work? Are we going to be looking at the work in class today? How are we going to develop this any further? Another thing that I did, and it's been running this week, is I started to introduce QR codes. What I found is that out of a class of about 18 students, we might have, say, eight, eight to 10 students with smartphones. Unfortunately, some of these students are using Blackberries, and I'm not disrespecting anybody that's using the Blackberry at the moment, but can't read QR codes. They now have to think about the apps that they're going to download. And I'm starting to think, well, how do I make what is outside accessible to my students inside the classroom? And what else, how else they can develop their IT functional skills within the classroom, within the classroom setting where they're secure and where they're supported by their lecturer. It's all exciting stuff and um, like I said, the students can't get out of the fact that the first thing I ask them to do when they come in, please put your mobile phones on the tables, have them switched off for now and then 20 minutes later I say, you've understood what you've got to do, now switch them on. Okay, thanks. That would be that. That's, uh, I really like, as an IT manager, I really like that idea of don't use the IT, uh, the computers there, use your mobile phone, that's really, really super. And uh, Google Docs there. And uh, in an early conversation with, with Toby as well, he, he mentioned that um, he's raising questions, maybe more questions than he's answering about. No, it was really nice because he, he raised a question, then how do I do this? And it leads on to something else. So uh, thanks, Toby. Let's have another final shot of you on your bike there. Okay. See you uh, later, guys.